Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with a new series. Uh, I've been doing uh, otaku news. I did anime news before that. Uh, I changed my name, like I said, to Weep News. And now I'm going to do it only on Wednesdays and call it uh, Weeb Wednesday News. WWN. Uh, so you guys can follow me here on my channel if you guys want to know some Weeb News. Uh, I'll keep it at least at three news. Uh, maybe have more some days, but for uh, for at least each week, I'll have three different type of news. Um, I'll start with uh, a few things that I think is important to my channel. Uh, I guess I'll start with the first one uh, that I kind of viewed it as important. Some people probably don't think it's important, uh, but if you have seen my channel, there is a series that I've done uh, both the first one and the sequel, and that's Jinru Game. And there is now a third one that has been released. And uh, here's a little tweet that I got from Dreamo Boy. Uh, they're on Twitter. Uh, he said, you should review Jinru Game Crazy Fox manga. This is a new new one. Chapter 1 is already out. I have confirmed it. I have checked online. Yes, Chapter 1 is already out. So I will be reviewing that one uh today more likely uh so you probably see the video today later on uh but if again if you've seen if you've seen my 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 videos then you probably know that i like the series it's a gore survival type of series and uh something that i appreciately uh really really love in in manga some people don't like that in manga well that's fine so that's our first news today. It's a series that I will be reviewing for you guys. Uh, not frequently because it takes a while for them to release chapters, but I will be releasing chapter by chapter in my channel. Uh, okay, the next news is a big one that a lot of people have been talking already on Twitter as of today. And uh, I released a tweet, and, I, and I'll show you my tweet. Uh, but they they released it in, in, uh, in Japan that... Uh, My Hero Academia, or Boku no Hero Academia, uh, is going to be having a second movie and will be coming out in the winter uh, of this year. So, uh, pretty exciting. The last movie was a good one. A lot of people talked about it, praised it a lot. Uh, some, You know, you rarely got negative, negative, negative stuff on this movie, uh, on the first movie at least. Uh, and now that they have a second one coming out, they haven't really shared more information other than there's a second one coming out. Um, but a lot of people are hyped up over it. Uh, it's one of the things that I saw a lot on my Twitter feed this morning and people were just going crazy about it. A lot of people are excited and, uh, we'll be seeing that movie hopefully in the winter. So make sure you guys, uh, keep up with My Hero Academia and, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens to to Deku in this movie. Now, the last uh, news that I want to share is um, it, it's about a subscription, an anime subscription, and uh, this is not, by no means, is me bashing at a company, and also this is not fairly new news, but it's something that's ongoing and the rating has gone down. Uh, the company that I want to talk about today is High Dive, and that company is the company that basically replaced Funimation in the contract with Crunchyroll. So Funimation's out, High Dive is now involved with Crunchyroll. Now, um, this is very important to know uh, because some of the things that we'll see affects that. Uh, High Dive is right now in agreement with Crunchyroll. Now, what exactly that means, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, on the App Store because for several months, they removed the app from the uh, Apple Store. Now, people like me who had had the app already, the be the, the beta, uh, unless you erased it, you still had the app. So I still had the app. The only thing is that none of the dubbed worked and there were no subtitles. So it was kind of pointless to have it. They finally brought it back in late February and they started really announcing it this month on their website. Uh, they're big about it. Uh, it came out with uh, weeks after the Xbox app came out. So I'm an Xbox user, so it really helped me because I love watching stuff through my Xbox. My Xbox is my is my living room uh, device, so 
Um, if I'm going to watch something in the living room, I'm going to watch it through my Xbox. So I was happy with that. They, re they re-released the iOS or the Apple uh, app. And uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to transition here to the, the Apple Store. This is the website. You can also see this through their App Store on your phones if you're on iOS. As you can see, the rating is at a 2.3. Uh, way below average, well not way below average, but, but below average, it's not even at 2.5 or higher. Uh, there's some screenshots there. Uh, you know, the app didn't change much. I'm going to say that from the beginning. The, the, the app has no changes whatsoever uh, other than one change. And that is what I'm going to talk about a, a, a lot about today because as you can see, there's uh, at, at first, at first, uh, view you have two reviews out of the three reviews that they promote that are one stars uh, They both have the same general idea and I'm going to read the first one for you guys and it says uh, I was a previous subscriber, but the limited content availability in the iOS app really makes this worthless You say it is restricted due to Apple's guidelines, but yet Funimation and Crunchyroll don't seem to have any issues you are charging for a premium service but restrict the content so heavily maybe check with the other guys to see how they do it or don't charge a subscription uh, fee for iOS users okay uh, the, the second one is kind of the same thing uh, dozens of series are simply unavailable uh, I'm seriously considering either dumping Apple TV for another device or ending my high dive subscription is how he ends it uh, you know, and he also, this this one also includes, it doesn't appear to be related to adult content because a lot of people were talking about this is probably an adult content thing, you know. This is probably uh, something that, you know, has to do with that. And, and I understand that. I understand that, that point of view. I, I guess that might have been the answer that they gave some people maybe on Twitter. I don't. I don't really. Sh I'm not really sure about that and all those details. What I do know is that uh, I do watch stuff on my phone quite often. Uh, in fact, if I'm doing something, I'm gonna watch it on my phone. And the reason I got High Dive is not for the subs. I'm gonna start with that. High Dive is not a subscription that I pay for for subs. All the sub anime that I watch is through Crunchyroll. And in fact, all the special uh, one, two animes that they were getting per season are now being included as well in Crunchyroll, at least the ones I wanted to watch. So even then, you know, I don't even have to go for the one or two um, anime that they were going to be be released in Crunchyroll. So I only watch uh, High Dive for Dub, so I can watch it on my phone on the go. And to be honest, it, it really does defeat the whole purpose of having it as an app. Now, the people say, you know, they a lot of them are missing. Yeah, a lot of them are missing. I'm currently uh, re-watching Made in Abyss because I'm going to watch the, the movie this next week, and uh, it, it's not there. Uh, now, that one is mature, uh, but there's other anime that's mature that I've seen, like Monster Museum and stuff like that, that are available on the app, yet that one is not. Um, there's anime uh, like... When they cry, I'm watching that as well, and that's not available. So there's just so many unavailable uh, anime that you could be watching that's not available on the phone that it takes away. Now, one of the uh, reviews, as you can see, was an Apple TV. Now, I know some people are probably going to say, well, don't watch it on your phone. Well, a lot of people don't have Xbox or PS4s uh, or don't have, you know, Roku's or Roku TV's. Um, they have Apple TVs because, you know, they want to have Apple TVs or, or, or whatever. So, and, and they don't have desktops. A lot of people don't have desktops nowadays. So they either have an iPad or have an iPhone or have Apple TV. Um, I have a lot of friends who do that. And, you know, it, it's kind of disappointing that, that, that then as an app, you're limited to, to nothing, basically. A lot of the anime that's available are either trash or probably pretty hyped up in other uh, subscriptions like Funimation or Crunchyroll that you don't really need another one like High Dive to have it. So anyways, I understand the frustration of some of these reviews. I understand uh, that High Dive thinks that, you know, 
that could be a reason. Uh, the adult content could be a reason. Now I want to go back to 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 the screen because in the information though it does says that you must be at least 17 years old to download this app. So the description is already saying it's it's for adults. So I don't know if what they're saying or, or what they got that information from, but all of them said says uh, mild cartoon or fantasy violence, crude humor, nudity. Your themes, suggestive, mature, intense, um, alcohol, tobacco, drug use, references. So you have all this adult content on the age rating, which is fine. You know, that, that should be included because, yeah, you're going to watch a lot of that on the, in anime. But you can't really say that, you know, there you can't put certain anime because of the restrictions of Apple. Uh, and, and I don't really think that's the case because, again, like like these both um, reviews and, and many other reviews are, are the same, say the same thing. Crunchyroll Funimation have their uh, you know mature content. Uh, why can't you? So uh, don't know if this will be resolved anytime soon. I really wish they do. As of right now, I only watch High Dive through my Xbox or my desktop. I can't watch through my phone, uh, even if I wanted to. So I hope they fix the problem. Uh, to those who have iOS and have high dive and are wondering, you know, okay, then it's pointless to have it on my phone. There is a way to watch it on your phone, and that's just simply going through your browser. If you go through your browser and watch it through your browser, you have no issues. You actually can see all the anime that they have and provide. But that's a hassle. At least for me, I don't like doing that. So there is a way around it, around the system, I guess you can call it. But I don't highly recommend it. It's just a hassle for me. But you guys can try it if you guys want. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section below or on Twitter or on Instagram, wherever you follow me in. Uh, if you like this video, if you like this this whole new series uh, of WWN or uh, <laughs> oh, Wednesday Weeb News, uh, I really think it's going to be a great series. And... Uh, I hope I keep this up as much as possible. Thank you so much, guys, for your love and support. If you haven't done so, subscribe. And like always, don't be strangers.